Well, it's uh, 1.30 Monday. I'm headed to the eye exam at 2. I hope it don't take too long. The low tide is at 3 at the ocean front. So I could get in a half hour or an hour or so, you know, right after low tide. Once the tide starts to come in on that ocean run, then waves, they crash up on the beach and run you way up into right the edge of the damp sand. And as long as I've been hunting, I never have, I ain't found much luck up there right at the edge of the dry sand. Don't get me wrong, that occasional ticket will show up there, but most of it's right there from the damp sand to the far as you want to go deep how much of your body can stand of the waves crashing on it when I was younger I used to get knocked over by the waves pushed right up the beach like a big whale I'm trying to avoid that now well we missed the tide at the ocean front tide's low here in an hour so we should have two good hours of, of spinning we got a nice little slew here too. I got the uh, nine inch footprint with the wireless phone today. We don't have no big waves. Lots of depositors. It's a holiday, I forgot about that. I'm going that way. Stand by. We're in uh, Beach P today. Pitch tones. Probably uh, 545 or 555, something like that. Sensitivity, I think 85. Stand by. Fifty-eight to sixty-one. Ow! Some crab just bit. That's a nice damn thing. There's five nitroglycerins. I didn't bring any. God! That's always the case. Well, I moved outside the bar now. I, did, I only found a big nut in there. See, there's that little bar breaking right there. I'm outside that bar now. You can see the people, I guess you can see them down there. Stand by. About Pecker Deep, I think. Well, I've been outside for maybe a quarter of a mile. I ain't found anything. Not one meager target. I think I'm going to move back inside that bar there. Stand by. Oh. Jet ski. You think it's a 925er? It's kind of heavy. I kind of like it. Man, why? You see the bait? I mean, the uh, beach narrows are a little bit right here. This bar moves right in here. And we only got a spot about 15 foot wide for, for a right good distance. It wouldn't work. That's where that ticket came from. Well, I found a pull tab and a piece of stainless fishing line, you know, with the two little brass crimps on it about four inches long and that's been it but I ain't complaining breezed up pretty good 
waves are rolling in a little bit. Coming in with a tide. Well, I'm moving back offshore now. Get closer to the tunnel that way. You see that green house right there? That used to be pink. Man, we found so much gold around that house before they did the beach, big beach replenishment. This place was hot, boy, I'm telling you. What have we now? We got a, have we got the real ticket or we got the fake? Well, I'm headed home now in the damp sand. So far, I haven't had a hit. But you never know, right? Stand by. Well, I'm on the threshold. I'm going home. I just. I don't think I ever showed you, but I wear this thing around my neck on this strap. Antenna wire comes in from the back, sits right on that thing right there. You know how it does. Works pretty good like that. RC unit. Well, here we go. A big nut. Two Coronas, two tabs, one penny, maybe a nail or something, fishing line, piece of bling crap, and I guess that's what this is. Looks good though. This came in at 50 on the deuce. This came in at solid 54 on the deuce. I have to get it tested to make peace of mind. See you tomorrow afternoon in the land of Nada.